Right, this video I'm going to speak about Kanye West and his skirt. Um, the only reason I know about this is because one of my high school friends sent me a video um, with Lord Jamar, which I never heard of him before. But he was basically talking and speaking against how Kanye West is just um, being arrogant and just like being stupid. And just wearing this skirt and trying to get everybody else to follow a long suit. Trying to represent hip-hop, things like that. As far as hip-hop is concerned, I mean, I don't know that much about it. But I am a fan of real hip-hop, not the garbage that you see out there. So I don't listen to that commercialized garbage music. Um, everybody that you hear on the radio, I don't like any of them. Um, but my main guy is Tupac, and I... I love Tupac's music, and that was the guy that, to me, represented real hip-hop. Um, one of the guys that represented real hip-hop. As far as that whole skirt thing is concerned, I think that the people in power, like, they, they like to play with you. They know that whatever person you look up to, you know, they could get you to do whatever the hell they want you to do. They got some guy up there, you know, um, say Kanye West or whatever, and you look up to Kanye West. He's using a, a iPhone. Okay, now everybody wants to get the iPhone. So then he uses it for, you know, on an on a advertisement. Now sales go up millions of dollars because he's using that iPhone. All right, so then now they're like, all right, let's promote platinum, you know, or let's promote diamonds, okay. So now he's wearing two earrings or something, two diamond earrings. Oh, now everybody wants to wear two diamond earrings as well. So they know they could get you to do whatever they want you to do. They get him to drink some Hennessy. Oh, now all of a sudden Hennessy sales are just skyrock skyrocketing off the roof. They get you to, um, and I heard about this as well, that he's got like some type of Nike shoes that are specifically for his brand, selling for maybe like $500. So, um, so now he's wearing these five hundred dollar Nike shoes, and then now everybody wants to buy Nike shoes. So it's like everything that he does, they could get you to do whatever they want you to do. So the people are using him as a puppet, you know, to just do whatever, whatever they want you to do, they'll get you to do that, you know. And that's the same problem that I see with um, the whole martial arts thing. They destroyed the whole uh, meaning of the martial arts, and they've corrupted it. So, to me, Kanye West is a fake, he's a fake ass person, sellout. <clears throat> he's a sellout, you know what I'm saying? He just works under the authority of um, the slave master, or whoever's in control. You know, you could call him, whatever you want to call him. It doesn't have to be all dramatic, you know, when people say this thing about Illuminati and you know, all this other crap. The fact of the matter is, that there's people in power that are calling all the shots. The people that are signing Kanye, Kanye's check. They're calling all the shots. And they're getting him to do whatever they want him to do. In order to make you look like an idiot. <clears throat> so. You know. They wear, you know, they haven't wear two earrings. And then now you want to wear two earrings too. You know. Um, they basically get you to do whatever they want you to do. They get Kanye to suck some cock, they're going to end up getting you to suck cock too. That's pretty much how their mentality is. They're getting very arrogant with it. And that's what they're trying to do with this um, this skirt thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, making you look like fools. And that's just, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, how people are just so easily steered by the celebrities into doing whatever the celebrities do. Then now they want to do it too. All of a sudden it's cool. So... You know, with this whole MMA thing, people rolling around in their underwear and, you know, butt ramming each other and just like whatever, like sweating all over each other. All of a sudden, that's supposed to be cool because it's mass commercialized and you got all these people promoting that crap. Like whoever <clears throat> their name is, <clears throat> G <clears throat> GSP or Royce Gracie or whatever the hell, rolling around the floor with another man. And then now everybody wants to do that. And they think it's so cool now to roll around the floor with another man. And I'm just like, you know, that has no place in the martial arts. So the same thing that Lord Jamar said, 
that skirts have no place in hip hop, I'm gonna say the same thing about the martial arts. Ground fighting has no place in the martial arts. It doesn't have any place in it. But what's happening is because so many people like to ground fight now, and they like to ground and pound, and they want to mimic and act like that, you know, pretend as if they're they're trying to um rape you. Now it all of a sudden is making the real martial artists they gotta learn how to prepare for that. So then now, what I've integrated into my sparring sessions is, hey, you know, go ahead if you want to try to take me to the ground, go ahead and try to take me to the ground. And I'll do what I have to do to survive. But I mean. Um, that's only because you gotta, now you gotta prepare against rapists, you know, and you gotta prepare against, uh, these ground fighters. But what I'm basically saying is that in the real martial arts, ground fighting has no place in it. Skirts have no place in hip-hop. So, like, you know, Lord Jamar is basically representing real hip-hop. Um, Kanye West is representing a corrupted version of hip-hop. And I'm representing, I'm, I'm trying to hear, trying to represent real martial arts. And this MMA stuff is just corrupted version of it. It's not real. Um, basically, they're just doing, you know, they're making it seem like it's cool. And it's okay to hit somebody that while they're on the ground. And I'm saying it's not okay. You know, um, but that's what they're putting out there. So now Kanye is trying to say that it's cool to wear skirts you know what I'm saying I mean this is just not some they're just they're just making the people that idolize these celebrities they're making them just foolish and stupid and that's what they're doing and everybody's falling for it so what I'm saying is that we need to take a step back and look at what's going on here and create our own um ways you know like say all of a sudden the government or whatever whoever's in control says okay it's all right to have dog fighting it's cool let's do it just so now are you gonna think it's cool too you know what i mean now they don't allow it they don't think it's cool so it's banned and everybody that that even mentions that they enjoy it already they're gonna be um frowned upon by the society but that's how I view um, the combat sport is that it's it's very dangerous, it's unhealthy, and it's not good for society. But the 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 government is promoting it, or the people are promoting it as if it's okay, if it's cool. I'm saying that it's not cool. And with the whole Kanye you know thing where he's wearing that skirt, Lord Jamar standing up saying that's not cool. You should you not you ain't supposed to be doing that, and you're supposed to be representing hip hop. Are you are you kidding me? And I'm in the same boat as um, Lord Jamar. I'm saying, hey, you know, that has no place in hip-hop, you know. And with the martial arts, what I'm saying is that ground fighting, it has no place in the martial arts. You know, if you're going to fight, then fight like a man. Fight standing up. You know, don't take that, that crap on the ground like that. That's just, um, that's for the people in jail. You know, that's for the people that, that like to rape men. But if, you, um, if you're not like that, then... St fight like a man stand up and fight that's what I say and um, that's pretty much how I see it but because everybody out there is so focused on that as a martial artist you need to learn how to adapt and know how to counter it and and basically protect yourself and save yourself um, from the people out there that like to do that stuff but as a martial artist that's not something that you're supposed to do and that's not something that you're supposed to be promoting um, it's just something that you need to prepare for, you know, just like a martial artist is not supposed to be somebody that's just extremely violent going around shooting up a bunch of people for fun. That's not what a martial artist is supposed to do, but he still needs to learn how to prepare against that in case that does happen, you know, because there's people out there that are like that, you know, and that's how I see this whole thing. And I think that I see the relevancy with this whole hip hop and real martial arts is there's a lot of people misrepresenting hip hop turn it into some garbage just like there's a lot of people misrepresenting the martial arts and turning it into some garbage so I'm here to stand up and speak against that garbage just like Lord Jamar is standing up and speaking against um, the garbage that he sees